So there was a great room in Android Oreo and now it's back with Android Pie. Yes guys, Havoc OS 2.0 is here with Android Pie update and today we are going to review it and also I will let you know if you should install this room or not. So let's get started. So as you can see this is how the Havoc OS look from very first boot. It has pixel launcher as the default launcher and the security patch is 5th September and as you can see here Havoc OS 2.0 and this is a official room so you will get updates in future. So Havoc OS is supported for many phones but today we are going to review this on my Redmi Note 4. And first thing you notice in Havoc OS is that everything is rounded from notification drawer to overall phone's user interface. All the corners are well rounded just like Samsung's new phone and it looks great. And if you have been old subscriber of this channel then you might remember Havoc OS Oreo was my favorite room. It was better than Dot OS in performance and also it was in my hall of fame top 5 base custom rooms of 2018. And if you are wondering how my notification drawer looking like this, well it has accent colors so you can basically change any color you want. So here how you do it, go to setting menu, go to display options, select accent colors and choose whichever color you like. Now let's talk about the features. When you go to setting menu, you find this tab called Havoc settings. When you tap on that, you find all your features neatly organized in this tab like status bar customization, quick setting customization, you can customize your ambient display. You can customize your buttons, you can turn on your Android Pie navigation bar or turn off if you don't like and you can use your hardware keys but make sure if you turn on your navigation bar then you will need to go to buttons and disable your hardware keys so you don't press them accidentally. Also in Havoc OS you can customize animations. Here you can see I can customize activity open animation, activity close animation, task open animation and many more. And guys if you are struggling with your battery life then there is battery saving feature here and when you go there there are many options that can save your battery. The first one is sensor block per package where you can block various sensors to save your battery life. Then there is alarm blocker. Now with this feature you can stop apps from waking your phone every time there is a notification. It will save you plenty of battery life. Personally, I love this feature in every custom room if it's available and I use it to save my battery life and that is the reason sometimes I get 12 hours of screen on time which most Android users can only dream about and about iPhone users, um, they need help. Because Apple is not a smartphone company, it's a religion. And now back to room, my favorite features are this battery bar which you can see on top of status bar which indicates the current battery level and this swipe gestures so whenever you want to increase or decrease your brightness all you need to do is swipe right or left on your status bar. Quite a time saving feature. So I have been using this room for last 2 days and everything seems normal. Only problem is for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to work you will need to flash an extra zip file and that's it. Apart from that, there is no problem, everything is smooth, no app force close, no random reboot, I played PUBG and it was quite smooth also. And about battery life, as I said, with this power saving feature, you can get up to 12 hours of screen on time if you really save your battery. But if you don't use those features, then you might get around 8 to 9 hours of screen on time. And let me quickly show you how to install this room as installing this room is slightly different than other rooms. So of course you will require a custom recovery installed in your phone and then you will require these three files, ROM file, GAPS file and this Wi-Fi and Bluetooth fix file. So first you flash ROM file along with GAPS. Once your installation is finished, boot your phone and then reboot into recovery again and then flash this fixed file and you will have perfectly working Havoc OS on your phone. 
As I said, this room is available for many phones and all the links will be in description box below. But before you go, please like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel. This is your friend Naya signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.